This video is a KuCoin crypto lending tutorial. I'm going to show you everything that you need to know to do with the KuCoin lending feature, including how you can do this for yourself, how much you can earn, and everything else that you need to know along the way. If you do not yet have a KuCoin account, you can use the link down in the description of this video. And by using that link, not only will you save 10% on all of your trading fees, but you can also claim a crypto reward that goes all the way up to $700. Okay, so to jump right into this, before we even jump into the lending menu, the first thing that I want to say is any cryptocurrency that we go ahead and lend, it needs to be in the funding account. So if you just go to assets right here and you open up your assets, whichever cryptocurrency you want to go ahead and start lending out needs to be in your funding account right here. So as you can see right now, I have nothing in my funding account. All of it is in my trading account. So all I'm going to do right here is just go ahead and click on transfer with my Ethereum. Make sure that my Ethereum is now in my funding account. And there we go. So if I now check out my funding account, you can see my Ethereum is now right there. And this is what I'm going to be lending out. So once you have done that, you have made sure your cryptocurrency that you want to lend is now in your funding account. Let's go over to the lend menu. So if you just go to earn right here at the top, and then we go to crypto lending, this will be able to open up right here. And this is the crypto lending page. Now under offers, you can see all of the offers that we currently have that are we are able to lend out. And there is over 200 of these. Now the cool thing about this rather than scrolling through is that you can go to the search bar and search for like Bitcoin or ETH, just like that. And then also we have the option for products for my assets. So if you have a lot of different assets, a lot of different coins that you want to lend out, we can also go ahead and click on this. And then as you can see, it will bring up all of the products, all of the lending ability that you have for the assets in your lending account. Now you will also be able to see the current lending APY. This is how much you will earn on each of these coins when you go ahead and lend them out. And obviously these differ massively. So as you can see bond right here, is 31% per year that you will be able to earn. Whereas with my Ethereum, it's only 0.5%. Now keep in mind that usually with these bigger APYs, they're gonna be more unstable coins. So <laughs> like this PEP2 right here, yeah, I just would not touch this with a 10 foot pole, but that is what you are usually going to find is that the more risky coins, the coins that go up and down a lot, you're usually going to get a better lending APY on these. Whereas the more stable coins, things like Bitcoin, things like Ethereum, USDT, you're usually not going to get as good as an APY. USDT right now is actually very, very nice. Um, so that, that's something that uh, you don't usually see. Now we also have the term right here. So all of these you can see are usually going to be flexible. It doesn't appear that we have fixed terms with this, um, but just realize that you either have flexible or fixed terms. So flexible right here, this effectively means that you can lend your crypto out and then you can get it back whenever you want. It's a flexible term. Alternatively, if you see a number here like seven days, 14 days, 30 days, that basically means the duration that you would have to lend your crypto out for before you can get it back. So if this term, for example, was a 30 day term, that means that when I go ahead and lend this out, I can't get my crypto back for 30 days. However, all of these are flexible, so that is not really an issue. If I just go in here and I will go ahead and stake my Ethereum. We also have this auto subscribe right here. So effectively with the profits that you make from your cryptocurrency when you're lending it out, it can be quite annoying to come back in here into this menu and then always be lending it out, like having to do this every day. Whereas if you click on auto subscribe right here, what it will do is it will take the profits that you make from your cryptocurrency and just go ahead and lend that back out without you having to do anything. But just to show you how you can do this, I'm going to go for my Ethereum right here. 
click on subscribe and then as you can see we have all of the details so we can see the subscription time we can see the interest accrual time right here the interest payout time and then the redemption time so what the redemption time means is how long is it going to take after you ask for your crypto back to actually get that crypto so i can lend this out for however long i want when i say okay kucoin i now want my ethereum back it's going to take around about an hour as it says right here for them to go ahead and credit that back to my account now in the lending apy you can go ahead and choose this so i could literally say like i want 10 percent per year for my ethereum now because there's such a big gap right here between like 0.5 percent is what people are paying this just isn't going to be filled so i could say i want this but nobody is going to accept that offer it would just be stupid so i'm just going to enter what the market says right now which is 0.5 once that is entered you can choose whether to auto subscribe or not so if you choose not to have auto subscribe on you can just click on max and then you will be able to go through and submit your ethereum or if auto subscribe is on it then says retention amount so what this means is if you want to keep a minimum amount of ethereum in your account it will never dip under that so i can say i just want to keep 0.1 ethereum in my account and it's going to lend out the rest any profits that i get as soon as i go above 0.1 it's going to lend everything out to get me back to 0.1. Now in here, I'm just going to say, I don't care. I don't want any Ethereum in my account. I'm going to click a confirm, confirm this once again. And then as you can see, subscription has now been submitted. Up here, you can see my orders. The value in USDT is $26. Yesterday's earnings is obviously zero because I didn't have anything. And then the total earnings it also shows so from here if i now go ahead and take a look at my orders you can see my ethereum is right here but if i actually take a look at the status it's not being lent out yet it is to be lent so what this means is effectively nobody has came along and nobody has taken my offer yet so what i could do at this point is just go ahead and redeem this put this back into my account but i'm just going to wait for somebody to come along and actually accept this offer and borrow my ethereum from me so you can go through this menu take a look at like redemptions settled orders so what this means is cryptocurrency that you have lent out and also got back that is settled you can take a look at trading history and everything else like that so that is how you can lend on kucoin if you found this video valuable don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button and until next time take it easy